Hey guys, this is Upesh from Beagle.com and Realme has been launching a lot of earbuds in the past year or so. Realme Buds Air, the Realme Buds Neo, Buds Q, Buds Wireless, Buds Air Pro. Yeah, that's a lot. And now they've launched this, the Realme Buds Air 2. Now these are something that actually got me interested because these bring active noise cancellation at just Rs. 3,300. So instead of focusing on the Nazo phones, I decided to use this full time. And this is our Realme Buds Air 2 review. Okay, so let's keep things crisp and nice. So on the design front, the Realme Buds Air 2's case is basically the Buds Air Pro case with the same oval design, USB-C port, but without the little chrome thingy on the back. As for the earbuds design, it's a little different and it's something I personally not call good looking, but I'd say it's interesting. So as you can see, it has this two-tone design with the stem featuring a chrome silver look, while the earbuds are the usual white with silicon tips. I mean, the looks are subjective, so to each their own, but I don't really like this design. As for the earbuds, they are IPX7 rated, so they should be fine with sweat and some rain. And these earbuds are also very light and they fit in my ear perfectly. Now here's Akshay doing his thing and yeah, they fit in right and shouldn't fall off during workouts. As for the comfort, these are budget earbuds and I'd say they are okay-ish comfort-wise. When I was using these continuously for half an hour or less, I found them to be fine. But when I was using them for longer, like an hour or two hours, I did feel the need to remove them and give my ears a break. So yeah, I'd say okay. -ish. Now the design apart, the big USP of the Realme Buds Air 2 is obviously active noise cancellation. Now if you think about it, in this price segment, there's the Realme Buds Air Pro and the Oppo Enco W51 that bring the active noise cancellation feature, but they're priced around 5,000 rupees and the Realme Buds Air 2 bring ANC to an even lower price segment, which is actually great. So the Realme Buds Air 2 has a feed forward mic to cut down the noise and it can cut down noise up to 25 dB which is lesser than the 35 dB mark of the Air Pro. But let's talk about the experience. So there are three modes, noise cancellation for max noise reduction, general for you know slight noise reduction and transparency mode which lets you hear everything from the outside world and you know talk to other people. Now as you can see I can switch between the two noise cancellation modes by just press holding the touch sensor on the Realme Buds Air 2. Now, as for the experience, the noise cancellation on the Realme Buds Air 2 actually works fairly well. Now, it's not as good as higher priced earphones, quite obviously, and it won't have an impact on higher frequencies, but it does a good job of reducing sounds from, say, a computer fan, engine rumble, car horns in the distance. So it's good that way, and if you play music, the noise cancellation is even more impactful, so it's good. See, I think noise cancellation at this price is a big deal, especially because this actually works. I mean, a lot of earphones which have ANC don't make a lot of difference, so this is pretty good for the price. Now, apart from ANC, the biggest factor when it comes to wireless earbuds is the sound quality. So the Realme Buds Air 2 have 10mm Hi-Fi drivers and when it comes to Codex, AAC is supported but Qualcomm's Aptex is not. Now, to get to the point straight, I think the sound quality of the Realme Buds Air 2 is very good. I was using the OnePlus Buds Z before this and when I switched to the Buds Air 2, I was like, these does not sound like earphones that cost 3000 rupees. I mean, if you've used the higher priced Buds Air Pro, let me tell you that the Buds Air 2 brings similar good sound quality. There are a lot of positives here. They're very loud, almost crazy loud. The bass is nice and thumping. The sound stage is wide and the balance between the lows, mids and the treble is pretty good for the price. Look, if you ask me, it's hard to find negatives in these earbuds, especially considering the price point. But if I have to tell you the negatives, I think at the max volume, some songs do sound a bit sharp, shrill. But it's not a big deal because these earphones are so loud, I mostly listen to them at 60-70% volume. So the sound is good, but since these earphones are so loud, there's a lot of sound leakage. Let me just show you. So these are the earbuds at 100% volume, and I think you can listen to the sound leakage, right? Now moving on to the mic performance, my experience with budget TWS earbuds when it comes to the microphone has been kind of underwhelming and the Realme Buds Air 2 is kind of on the same line. Now, when it comes to the calls, it gets the job done when you are in a no noise environment, but if you want to use it in a noisy street with maybe wind, you'll find them practically useless. And it's not like other earbuds in this segment do a better job at this. I found the same issues with previous Realme earbuds and the OnePlus Buds Z, which I was using. See, the point is we need better mics in the budget TWS earbuds. To give you a better idea on the mic quality, this is me talking from the Realme Buds Air 2. And I think the sound quality from these microphones on the Realme Buds Air 2 is a little inconsistent. At times it sounds fine, but other times it cuts down a lot of noise, making the voice unnatural. So this is the Realme Buds Air Pro now. 
And I think the Realme Buds A2 sound better than this because this seems to be doing a lot more when it comes to noise cancellation, making the voice all muffled, kind of. Lastly is the OnePlus Buds Z. And when I tested them, I found the mic's quality to be similar to the Realme Buds A2. But yeah, let us know in the comments which mic's quality did you like more. Now as for the connectivity and pairing, this Bluetooth 5.2 here with Google Fast Pair support. And that means pairing is pretty easy. You just open up the case and you get this prompt to pair the earphones. And yeah, this pop-up arrives on all phone brands, not just Realme, which is nice. Now as for the connectivity, I did not face any weird connection drops or stutters while using the Buds Air 2 with smartphones other than Realme smartphones. Now that's good, but one thing I did notice is that there's no way to connect multiple devices and then switch between them. Next up, I want to talk about the features and the Realme Link app. Now first up, a lot of you guys always have this doubt about earbuds getting updates. Well, when I first paired the Realme Buds Air 2 with the Realme Link app, I got an update. So yeah, we can expect updates. Now this is the Realme Buds Air 2's page in the Realme Link app and the UI is surprisingly clean and nice. Anyway, so along with the noise cancellation modes, you get these three sound effects. Bass Boost Plus, which really, really amplifies the bass, but I don't like it much because in this mode, the bass kind of starts to outshine the instruments and the vocals. There's Lively, the mode I use because this is balanced in terms of treble and bass. And then there's Clear, which focuses on the vocals and I think this can be useful for podcasts, audiobooks, etc. There's also a volume enhancer here, which I think is the reason why the earbuds are so, so loud. Anyway, the Buds Air 2 support wear detection and I found it to work well, no issues here. There are also the usual touch controls, which are hit and miss at the start, but once I got used to the idea that it's located at the top end of the stem, I found it to work fine. Apart from that, there's game mode, which I think is super important because I have used the Realme Buds Air in the past and the latency in those earbuds was crazy. So back then I used to play PUBG with those earbuds. Yeah, the good old days. And it was almost unplayable with the latency in the Buds Air. Now the Buds Air 2 without the game mode is still pretty average when it comes to latency while playing say COD Mobile. Now with the game mode turned on, it's better. The latency does reduce but it's still not absolutely perfect or anything. Lastly, the battery life. So the Buds Air 2 has a 30 mAh battery on each of the earbuds and a 400 mAh battery on the case, which is kind of on the lower side when compared to say the OnePlus Buds Z. But with the Realme R2 chip, Realme claims better battery performance and the Buds Air 2 are rated to last five hours on continuous usage and that's with A and C off and a total of 25 hours with the case, which yeah, sounds good. Now in my usage, I got around four hours, 50 minutes with ANC turned off on continuous usage, which is, I think, good. And with ANC turned on, I got around four hours, which again is pretty decent. As for the charging, the case takes around two hours to charge while the earbuds get to 100% in around an hour. Well, to conclude things, should you buy the Realme Buds Air 2 at rupees 3,300? Well, my answer is yes. I mean, yes, the Realme Buds Air 2 have its pros and its cons, but I think the pros definitely outweigh its cons. I mean, the pros are the big ones, like the sound quality is fantastic. It brings ANC on a budget and the noise cancellation is actually good for the price. Then there's the fact that the smart features work fine and the battery life is good. Now, coming to the cons, the comfort could have been better. The mic quality is okay, but that's a problem with most budget TWS. The game mode is kind of fine. So yeah, these earbuds are not perfect. And if you have issues with any of these points, you should not get the Buds Air 2. But if you're okay with these points, I think the Realme Buds Air 2 are a very good pair of TWS earbuds to buy. I think they bring a great balance between features and price. Well, that was my review of the Realme Buds Air 2, but I want to know what you guys think. So tell us in the comment section below. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure to share it with your friends who are looking for budget earbuds, TWS with ANC. So yeah, make sure to share this video and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.